Greetings and salutations, Titanium Tim, 18, here in beautiful Florida somewhere. Actually, I'm going to see your location. Don't tell nobody. Okay, so today's episode is about this Samsung refrigerator. Now, let me drag you over here kind of close so you can see this screen. Now, this screen is called a family hub, okay? And you can select all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can put here, you can select um, weather, you can select apps, it connects to the internet, it's got a microphone, you can talk to it, tell it to play music and stuff, and it will. Uh, but what can happen is, look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. What can happen is, if you push the buttons, you know, you get into the menu and stuff, and you don't realize what you're pushing, and you get ahead of the speed that it goes, because it's not a very quick touchscreen. If you get ahead of it, you can hit buttons that will mute everything and lock the screen, and then you can't get out of it once it's locked. You just can't. I've tried. So what you got to do is, and trust me, I called Samsung. I've called Samsung on a dishwasher. I called Samsung on this. And let me tell you, Samsung, your customer service needs fine-tuning, okay? Because your people don't know what the heck they're talking about. Anyway... So I called the lady at Samsung, and I got this lady on the phone, and I'm sorry, but her accent was so thick I couldn't hardly understand her. And uh, she kept telling me what to do, and I was like, I, what? What? Slow down. Speak slower so I can understand you. So she told me there's a red button up here. I'm going to show you this, okay? There's a red button up here. Look at here. You take this cover off, okay, and there's a red button up there. See it? You're supposed, that turns on and off the display. Well, she said, turn that red button off for two minutes and it should reset the display. Well, I got one word for that, boulder dash, because it didn't reset the screen. And when I turned it back on, it came right back to where it was. It really was frustrating. So I said, well, you know what? She had to go talk to her supervisors. While she was doing that, I ran out in the garage and I flipped the breaker and turned it off. I turned the display off for 10 minutes. I was on hold for that long and uh, turned it back on and it was right back locked up again. So she said, if you come over here, come on, come on, I'll show you. Now I'm gonna have to pan you down so you're gonna miss my beauty it's mug, okay? You go down here. Now, do you see this, these three lines? If you push and hold those for 10 seconds, I'm gonna do it. Push and hold it for 10 seconds. The screen will go black. And then, hopefully, there it goes. Okay, the screen will go black. And when the screen goes black, you get this screen. And it says, factory data reset. It says, factory data reset, correct file system, software update, cancel and reboot. Well, she kept telling me to push that factory data reset. And I kept pushing it. And I guess I'm going to have to cancel and reboot. I'll do that. Anyway, she kept telling me to, to push that button, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. I kept pushing it, pushing it, nothing happened. I said, look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. Anyway, I kept pushing it, nothing happened, so I got frustrated. And, you know, I try to be a good fellow, but I do get frustrated. I'm like everybody else. So I said, ma'am, I'm going to go. I'll figure it out on my own. So I kept pushing it, sliding my finger, pushing and sliding my finger, and finally it did something. And then it gave me a screen that says it was, it was restoring to factory settings. Do not turn the device off, okay? When that happens, don't turn the device off. Don't hit the red button. Don't do nothing. Let it run. Don't do anything. Let it run its course. When that gets done, you'll get a screen that says it's done. Hit OK. And when you hit OK, then it comes back up and you have to pick USA. You have to pick your English. You have to pick the... Uh, the Wi-Fi, whatever your Wi-Fi is, put in the Wi-Fi password, and then you can set it back up. Like I said, you put your email address in here and it connects to your phone, and you can transfer pictures and music right from your phone right to the refrigerator. Now, it does play music, and the speakers come out under here. Here, I'll show you. The speakers come out under here, but I can tell you that their quality is less than optimal. But while I got you down here, take a look at this. I like this freezer. Nice big freezer. It's got two storage areas. There's a lot of space in this freezer. I really do like it. It's a very nice freezer. Ah, what I tell you, boy, look up here. Okay, 
So that's it on the Samsung. I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet and I thought I would tell everybody. So if you have a Samsung refrigerator with a family hub and it, the screen locks up or gets acting up or it won't do what you want it to do, push those three lines for 10 seconds and follow the screen prompts. Now, sometimes that factory data reset, I think you have to push it and wait. I think I was being too impatient, but I pushed it and I let it go 10 minutes. It didn't do nothing. So I pushed it, slide my finger across it, left it and it finally took off. So that's what you got to do. And then follow the screen prompts to set it back up. And all you'll lose is whatever was stored on here. If you had pictures on here, you'll lose them or music, you'll lose them. But if you send them from your phone, you'll have them on your phone. You can send them right back through the, through the connection that it has with your phone. Okay, so that's it for now, ladies and germs, boys and girls. I just want to give you all a little tip. Until next time, be good to yourself, be good to each other. What do we say? Come on. What's the mantra? What's the mantra? It's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with it. And if you struggle with that every day, if you make little incremental improvements every day, the end of the year, you will be a monster because how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How does the journey of a thousand miles start? With the first step. I know I'm a philosophizer. I'm a poet and didn't know. Anyway, I digress. Once again, it's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with it. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. I love you and I'll see you soon.